Leon, Mark, we're at the corner of Everett and Regal, just right by where this all played out. I'm going to step to the side here while my photographer, Brett, uh, zooms in and lets you take a look at what we can see. It's right on the street outside an apartment complex here. We did notice one car in a parking lot that had a bullet hole on the side of that car. You're not able to see that from uh, this angle where we are here. Police have been on scene for hours and have even brought out what appears to be a mobile command unit. Now, this all happened earlier this afternoon. Information is limited at this point, but here's what we know. The U.S. Marshals Service says marshals were involved in trying to capture a wanted fugitive. It's believed that suspect, who witnesses said was a man, showed a gun at some point. That caused U.S. Marshals to respond with force. Now, at last check, the fugitive was in the hospital recovering from his wounds. I spoke with several neighbors who reported hearing around half a dozen shots. They said it all played out quickly. I heard seven shots. Seven shots, I did too. And then we came across here and we saw a young lady running that way with a pink shirt. And then we come out and saw this gentleman, the uh, perpetrator, was laying down, moaning. He looked pretty bad. I don't know. Coming back out here live, it's not entirely clear how much longer authorities will be on scene. Neighbors in the area were asking about their cars and if and when they might be able to move them from the crime scene. But officers said uh, that likely wouldn't happen for a few hours. And again, just within the last couple of hours, we've noticed that authorities brought out what appears to be uh, a mobile command unit of some kind, a very large vehicle. And as I've been standing here, actually, I've noticed uh, a drone that was flying overhead. Again, uh, we've seen scenes like this before where authorities have used drones to map out the scene to kind of kind of get a visual overhead look that sort of thing so again not clear at this point how much longer they will be on scene for now reporting live in hilliard taylor vito crime 2 news